Need some last minute fantasy football advice? Then the boys at the Fade Route have you covered. Tune in every NFL Sunday to Red Light, Green Light, 1, 2, 3 with DNZ. DNI give you our top 1, 2, 3 fantasy starts or green light and fantasy sits or red light. That's red light, green light, 1, 2, 3 every NFL Sunday during the season. You can find us on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, and wherever you get the fade route. That's red light, green light, 1, 2, 3 with DNZ every NFL Sunday during the season. Let's run the option and give you our picks for the week. It is the option for NFL Week 13. And if you want to play along with us, you know what to do. Click on our Instagram bio at Fadrop Podcast. Go to the link. Click on the link. You can find our CBS Pick'em League, also entitled The Option, and you can play along with us. The lovely Rita Sanchez currently has a small lead over D, and I'm still 10 points back. So it's a two-horse race, but it is a very entertaining two-horse race down the stretch we Thursday night, the Seattle Seahawks, fresh off that beatdown on Thanksgiving, go into Jerry World at 6-5 and five to take on the 8-3 and three Dallas Cowboys. Cowboys. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty hard not to see that. Cowboys are humming on all cylinders right now. And the Seahawks, they seem to be fading. Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. The 4-7 and seven Los Angeles Chargers go into Foxborough to take on the 2-9 and nine New England Patriots. Yeah, it's hard to pick a team that can't score more than 7 points against the Giants. So, yeah, I'm taking the Chargers. Chargers aren't that great either, man. <laughs> They're... They are the biggest underachievers in the league. But then again, that's also the Chargers brand, isn't it? Because mm-hmm. go back to Marty, Phillip, LT, they didn't really exceed expectations either. I Part of me wants to take the Patriots so bad. Part of me wants to take it because Brandon Staley, they're coming east. Like there's so many things lining up against the Chargers. But the Patriots are so putrid this year, and Belichick is playing coy with who the starting quarterback is. Zappy's getting first team reps, but he hasn't announced a starter. There's some Patriot games going on, man. Chargers. And I'm not even confident in that. Chargers. The 8 and 3 Detroit Lions look to lick their wounds as they go into the Big Easy to take on the 5-6 and six New Orleans Saints. Yeah, I don't know what's going on with the Lions, so I'm taking the Saints. Ooh, interesting. The Saints have a good defense. That could give Jared Goff some trouble. And that's really what the issue is. Jared Goff's turned the ball over. Lots of fumbles, lots of picks lately. If he can correct that, the Lions will still be a very dangerous team. And I think they'll regather themselves this week and they'll win close. We take the Lions by a touchdown. The five and six Atlanta Falcons go into MetLife to take on the four and seven J E T S Jets, Jets, Jets. I got to think the Jets are going to win this game just on defense and the fact that <laughs> Arthur Smith doesn't know how to coach Bijan Robinson. Bijan. Bijan. Oh, Bijan. Yeah. Uh, who sucks less is the question. I'm going to have to go with the Falcons. I think I'm going to take, I'm narrowly going to take the Falcons because I think, that, frankly, I think the Jets defense has had enough of this shit. Like, they're tired of bending but not breaking. They're starting to crack. 
and the dam will break. It's a question of when. This week is another crack in that dam. The 2-10 and 10 Arizona Cardinals go into Pittsburgh to take on the 7-4 and four Pittsburgh Steelers. Steelers? They fired Canada and still didn't really light the world on fire. Oh, they had their best offense in like the last four years. Yeah, uh, it's yardage, yes. Points, no. Mm-hmm. So they, they averaged the same amount of points that they did under Canada. So the good thing is, is that they have the Cardinals this week. So the Steelers will still win. The 6-5 and five Indianapolis Colts go into Tennessee to take on the 4-7 and seven Titans. Titans! Really? Really? They got a catch really? Huh. I'm taking the Colts. The Colts, sneaky playoff team, man. Sneaky playoff team. Did not have that at the beginning of the year. And it makes you wonder. It makes you wonder. Shane Steckin is coach of the year. Mm-hmm. Gardner Minshew. What does this mean for the future of Anthony Richardson? If he leads this team to the playoffs and they happen to make a run. This has like Eagles vibes with Wentz and Foles all over again. If he's able to do it. But they, they're on to something right now. I'm taking the Colts. The 8-3 and three Dolphins go into Landover, Maryland to take on the 4-8 and eight Washington Commanders. Trap game. I'm taking the Dolphins, though. They just don't play well on the road, man. They don't play well on the road. But they're not playing a good team. They didn't play a good team last week. Yeah, they didn't. That is true. But I think that the defense is good enough that Sam Howell's going to have a bad day. Dolphins win. The 6-5 and five Broncos go into Houston to take on the 6-5 and five Houston Texans. A playoff implication. Game. Big game. Big game. I, 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 say, I say Broncos. Broncos. After the gut punch last week with the Matt Amendola kick, I got to go with the Broncos, too. Like, that might have been the moment that sank the Texan season. That doink. I know it cost Amendola a job. Like, a matter of inches. Yeah. Crazy. But, I mean, he was only there because Kaimi Fairburn was hurt anyway. So, the, light, the shelf life of a kicker is not long in the NFL. Broncos are on to something. Broncos, you know, we got to eat some crow. We've been eating crow. We're going to have another plate of it this weekend. Can you take the championship from DNZ? This year, you can play our football pick'em on CBS Sports and compete against us in the option every week. Check the link in our Instagram bio, Fade Round Podcast, for all the details and to sign up. Then tune into the Fade Round every week until the Super Bowl for updates and standings. Bring it on. We're into the 4 o'clock hour. The 1-10 Carolina Panthers go into Tampa Baker to take on the <laughs> 4-7 Tampa Bay Buccaneers. I like the Bucs. Not a bad year following losing Tom. Yeah, it's not. It, they haven't had a, a bad year. I mean, they haven't had a great year, but they haven't been... It, I mean, just look at the other side, uh, the other sideline. Just for comparison, right? I don't know who's who's running the offense. Who, who's who, who's running the gig? The special teams coach is the head coach. Now you know special teams coaches are great CEOs, like Coach Westall, John Harbaugh, special teams guys. But your first game, I got to go Tampa Bay, and by a lot. The seven and four Browns. Go into SoFi to take on the five and six Rams. Uh, Joe Flacco might be starting in this game, so I'm taking the Rams. I'm taking the Rams too. Like, <laughs> I am the the Browns are in jet territory in terms of bending but not breaking, and the defense is starting to show signs of weather. And they're they're down to their third quarterback, fourth quarterback now. So, yeah. The Browns, if they're holding on, they're barely hanging on. 
and the Rams are peaking at the right time. Potentially the game of the week, the eight and three San Francisco 49ers go into the link to take on the 10 and one Philadelphia Eagles. I actually think the 49ers are going to win this game. I think so too. The Eagles kind of got away with one on Sunday. You know, uh, a decision to run cover zero, allowing Jalen Hurts to waltz into the end zone completely unscathed. That was a, a little bit of a gift from on high. The Niners will play tough, and the Niners have something to prove here. You know, the Eagles like to think that, you know, just because they injured. Brock Purdy, like they were gonna go, they were gonna do it anyway. If they didn't hurt him or not, I'm not so sure. Mm. Now we can find out. Like Purdy's there, it's game on. Your Sunday night special: the eight and three Chiefs go into Lambeau to take on the five and six Green Bay Packers. Uh, I'm gonna take the Kansas City Chiefs. I'm taking the Chiefs as well. The Packers will play better. They definitely will play better because, believe it or not, they're actually in the playoff hunt. Who would have thought that beginning of the year? Certainly not me. <laughs> Certainly not me. And your Monday night delight, the 5-6 and six Cincinnati Bengals go into Jacksonville to take on the 8-3 and three Jacksonville Jaguars. Oh, jeez. Take the Jaguars. Gotta take the Jags. Different story if Joe Burrow was under center, but it's Jake Browning. Need I say more? Teams on a bye this week. Get a paper and pen. There are a few of them. The Ravens, the Bills, the Bears, the Raiders, the Vikings, and the Giants. Adjust your fantasy rosters accordingly. Thanks for listening to this episode of our podcast. If you like what you heard and want to hear more, be sure to like and subscribe on your favorite podcast platform. Rate us five stars. Leave us a review. Turn on subscription notifications and tell your friends. Spread the word. Spread it wide.